So obviously I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions on whether I should be nervous or excited going into these reactions. But I think the title of this episode specifically, Dante versus the captain of the Black Bulls, there's just no way. There, I mean, we, could, we could actually lose some members and I'm actually nervous as fuck for that, but there's no way I'm not excited for this episode. There's no way. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episodes 163 and 164. Um, last episodes, we had the 161, which was the Golden Dawn headquarters attack. Absolutely insane. And then 162, which was the Black Bulls headquarters attack, which was absolutely insane. So now we're going to see the resolution of that and where we're going to go, because I really have no idea. But after getting some of the sneak peeks at some of the powers and how strong... Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so ready. So without any further ado, I say we jump right on into this. Remember, if you guys want to see early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on the Patreon. Links are down in the description down below, like always for you guys. If you guys also want to watch these live and uncut with me with some great vibes, great community, come on over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darius, as I'm sure you guys can see. Um, other than that, follow all the social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 163. Dante versus the captain of the Black Bulls. Let's do this. How did I forget about <laughs> literally the Heart King? Everywhere is getting invaded. This is crazy. We were supposed to invade them, but they're... I mean, we, well, this is crazy. This is crazy. That was insane. And now I need my boy Yami coming in. He has a personal reason now for fighting Austin. Oh, imagine the weight of those fists. Oh, look at the way they're animating it. I feel so bad. Oh, that kind of sounds like a banger just from the first three seconds listening to that. Kind of sounds fire. Is this Gray's mother? My daughters are so beautiful, but you have to be so plain and gloomy. What is she like a Cinderella type situation? All the Black Bulls have such sad backstories, you know? So they can use fire magic. Well, I mean, I totally understand why she's so insecure now. This would make anybody feel like no one should look at them and feel like they're ugly, you know? I can't blame Grey at all. She got her grimoire. Shouts out to her. I was wondering why her hair was a different color, so it is a stepmother, and that's horrible. Five years, damn. And she could finally be pretty. It's And that pisses them off even more, you know? That's so sad that she feels like she has to- oh. That is so sad and horrible. Jesus Christ. Oh, and now dress like that? Yeah. No. Dad, what horrible timing. Ghosh protected her? Was this... Yeah, this has to be pre-Black Bulls Ghosh because he's not wearing his fit. Shouts out Marie. I had no, I mean, it makes a lot more sense why she's so invested in, not invested in Ghosh, but so sad that he just got literally impaled. Hmm, I like that. If you ran away half-heartedly, go home. But if you got the resolve, you know, you're not gonna, you know, you gotta, you gotta have that resolve. And now, you know, that's nice. I had no idea. <laughs> Shouts out Ghosh. Shouts out to the goat. I need my man Yami to come save the day right now, you know? To call this fate. 100%. Wouldn't be here without him, so. 
I don't know what's gonna happen or why we're getting this great backstory, but I need you to unlock some crazy cool power. That's a cool, yeah, she really, yeah. She's gone out of her way, you know? I need some crazy gray power right now. That, they did go out. Gray was one of, or Ghosh was one of the ones who really told her about during that episode, you know? Come on. Come on, Gray. This man is literally about to die. Transform that sword into like a band aid or something. I don't know. Transform into air? What are we, what are we, what are we doing? Meanwhile, this dude is just fucking throwing haymakers. She could seal it. Shouts out, Gray. During these dire situations is when you unlock some crazy- Oh my god, Asa's- He got knocked out of his devil form. Wait, so Gray is arcane as well? Are we saying Gray, Yami, and Vanessa are all arcane? Same with Asa? Come on. Keep your filthy mitts off my squad. This is what I was waiting on. This right here was what I was waiting on. Come on. Come on, Yami. Don Cho, I need the captain. Yami Sukihiro. Tell me why Yami is like the Kakashi of the show. Like everyone already knows who he is. No matter where you're from, you know who Yami is. You might have forced him to the ground, but he is not, he is not groveling. We have not gotten post time skip Yami either. We have not gotten him. What we sh Okay. I love the way they animate that. I love the way they animate that. And like it's nothing, a dimension slash. Boom. Come on. Yes, he can cut through dimensional time and space. Oh, he jumps off it. I love that midair movement. My man, Yami is... And he's still that fast. A key, huh? Because <laughs> we're a badass. Come on. That actually is why, though, when I fuck with that. Condensed. As soon as it enters, it's like Nobunaga's N. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh my god. Dark clothes, EI slash? My man is a true samurai. That was literally like Nobunaga from fucking Hunter x Hunter, who's one of my favorite Phantom Troop members. Little the N. Oh, that was beautiful. We haven't even seen the heart king. Oh my god, we have so much shit going on. Oh, Floga! Oh, the spirit gardens, they get their ass whooped! Yeah. This kingdom would not survive without her. I kind of get like Katara Aang vibes right there, with Noel putting everything on the line to protect Laura Petschka. Oh, yeah, you could tell he's got devil powers. 50%, which was more than Zenin's 40% that we saw in 161. Svenkin. Ooh, luck. Ooh. Beautiful. Look how fast this man is. Hell no, we're not. I love Lux Grimoire. What was that? That man has skin magic? Skin magic? Uh, in terms of power, I could see that. I would say she's probably one of the most powerful women in the show. But that's not reason enough at all. I miss that arc, bro. Our first, like, dungeon we went to, which first saw Mars, you know? Exactly like Asta as well. 
Asa's literally inspired every member of the Black Wolves at one point, you know? A real lightning bolt, not a created one. Two years for Gaja to learn it? So he's taking inspiration from Gaja and manipulating it towards his own and what he's good at to create his own... He can really manipulate his skin. That's so... That's so creepy and weird and crazy. What the hell? I mean, what is he gonna be, Rock? I was about to say, he's just gonna be Rock Lee, just go faster than his Sander skin, you know? Sarah, no. Oh. He turned himself into the lightning bolt. That's how fast he went. Uh huh. That's. I, I got goosebumps, but that's like the fastest thing I can think of a lightning bolt. Imagine being faster I mean, than light. That's crazy. That is insane. Shouts out to this man, Luck. All right, on to episode 164. We had an episode with Dante. We had an episode with Zenon, and now we're getting a full one. It looks like with Vanica. This one's Battlefield Heart Kingdom. Let's do this. I'm excited. Is this Asta in our devil area? It is. Let's let's talk. Yeah, tell me more. Who do you who do you want to kill? What wh who? What's your name? No, no. Talk to me, please. I want to know more about your backstory. Now, I don't think he's dead because the devil powers are so unbelievably OP, but that was such a... Any other person, they're dead from that. Any other person. See? See? That's what I'm... It's so broken. Yeah, see, look at that. What the hell is that? Literally, what the hell is that? What I was just saying. Whether it was murder, fun, festivals, sex, literally nothing could satiate this man. This man needs to go to the Dark Continent and Hunter Hunter. You might not be bored there. He said Psycho Hipster Ghost. <laughs> Jesus. So him and William are like the two keys? Yeah, like the tree of Idrisil in Norse mythology, you know? Okay, it's like seven deadly sins. We don't want that. Yeah, fuck that. Absolutely not. Yeah, I'm, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Charm me coming in. Please take your old form. Please, please go absolutely ham like you did versus real. We gonna get Charmy versus one of the Dark Disciples? Hair magic? Charmy is not having it. I cannot get over Charmy right now. Unsightly fatty. That's worse than seeing people murder to seeing the food destroyed like that. She will murder you for that. That's hilarious. Mm, she's thinking about the food and the amazing people of this of this land. You dare do these things to these people? You won't get away with this. Cotton creation magic. Oh, 
Yeah, not neither of you have an advantage over the other. It's cotton versus hair. Wow, that's kind of scary. She's getting impaled. She doesn't eat. She just injects herself with nutrition. Fuck that. I need me a burger. You think any of that bothered her? This is what I was ex Come on. Now I wish Real was here to see her like this. Because Real, when Real sees her like this, you know, Real can be mm, insane. Let's go, Charmy. Now I get to see this thing in action again. I'm going to munch on some hair. Hey, there are people with, that'll eat hair out there. Glutton's Banquet. Ooh, with our new upgrades too on this oh that's quite the big knife and fork he's like the kurama to charmy we're dousing her with salt and pepper I'm gonna throw her into a uh-huh okay we're making hair pasta this man, chef, and he's whipping it in the kitchen. I'm saying, imagine she gets so pissed at you, she cooks you and eats you. You not putting no Parmesan cheese on that? Just playing. Oh, damn. I was hoping we'd eat her too, but hey, I guess, I guess without her beautiful hair, you know. Let's go. Charmy whooped her ass. That is hilarious. <laughs> Shouts out Charmy. We got more Heart Kingdom battles. Okay, now who else do we got here? Leopold avenging Floga. Who's he going against? Okay. That's broken. Siv Sivoir? Okay, oh. Eye magic? So, he's his own, like, scouter for his own sniper. Normally, you would have a scout saying, you know, but he doesn't need it. He's literally all built into one. That's crazy. He tanked it exactly like Killua, Hunter Hunter. He tanked it to know exactly where that snipe was coming from. I liked it. <sighs> well played, well played. I don't know how much longer my man can last. This is one of those true tests for him. And let my inner flames ablaze. Set your heart ablaze. How did you lose him, Mr. Eye Scouter? He's gonna hit you with a vertical. Oh. Is he just gonna what blow up this whole area? He knows you're in here. Leo, talk about getting stronger. True flame magic. Just like how Lug did true lightning. Crimson eruption. It's like a volcano. That man is incinerated. <laughs> oh, you're yowling. That's some flames right there. That's Flamio Hotman, as Aang would say back in the day. That could kill someone. I hope so. Imagine going from never being hurt on the battlefield to straight getting murdered. I like it. And Gaja already handled his. I have a feeling that, oh, I have a feeling Vanica is going to come to Laura Petchka and Mimosa and Noelle are going to have to do something. I don't know why, I just have a feeling. We've seen that on multiple locations. Yup, here we go. 
Oh, it's what's his name, but he was with Vanica. This dude, yeah. Bro, if this dude has tongue magic, I am whooping ass. Get him out of here. Thank you, Mimosa. Yes, get your ass out of here. Thank you. But now I feel like Vanica is going to be right behind him. Yep, this is going to be a crazy ass fight. And I'm just now processing that this is revenge for Laurel Pechka and this is revenge for Noel. Noel, this is the woman, ergo the devil, that killed your mother. Oh my god, it's time to whoop some ass. It is time to whoop some ass. Ah, oh, it just is so crazy to me, the timing of the show and how it's gonna end at literally its peak. This is literally the best Black Clover has been and we're ending in five, six episodes. I am just appalled by that. I don't know. I need this. I need a movie. I need the show to come back. I need to read the manga. I need all of it, you know? Like, this is literally some insane. I know next episode or the next few episodes, Noel, Mimosa, Laura Pechka, Undine versus Vanica is going to be insane. But Yami versus Dante, actually insane. Absolutely love Yami's progression and that how that man can use his black holes his dark moons his the ei blade e, i don't even know how you pronounce that but my man was literally nobunaga from hunter hunter and i loved it i love the concept of n how i have this field around me and anything like you are uh, it's so good fantastic episodes oh i think i think though the most excited i am i think yami and dante was number one i think noel versus vanica is right below that like noel is one of the most s tier characters in the show and I'm so excited for this. <laughs> the arc isn't even finished in the manga. Oh, I'm so mad you just said that. I need, I need to, I need to know exactly what happens. Like, but if you guys don't know, I'm going to do this real quick. I've been slacking. So, Mary Leona, I apologize about this. I do have a QA section on the Discord, on the Dapper Discord, um, where I normally uh, right after you ask that I answer that question pertaining to that show right at that time But I'm mad 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 behind on this almost by a month So I apologize Mary Leona, but Mary Leona 27 on the Depper discord asks What are your fav five favorite male characters and five favorite female characters? So a very simple question, but very good question Very tough to answer if I had to go males and it's gonna be super biased because a lot of these are our main characters and I've, I've I've known these guys for so long, but they might be a little surprise in there for you. They're not going to be in any particular order, so no rearranging anything like that. It has to be Asa Yuno, Julius, Yami, and see, that's so because there's so many great characters, but the fifth, honestly, and it's probably going to shock you, is Zora. Like, I love his story and how late of an addition he was, but how impactful not only he has been, but his father has been over, like, his story is one of the best in here for sure. Like absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's gotta be Asta, Yuno, Yami, Julius, and Zora. But the top five females, a little bit harder. Also biased, like I said. I've been on team Mimosa forever. So Mimosa, I absolutely love Noel. I love the fierceness from Mary Leona. What two other women would I choose? I love Charlotte and I love Charlotte's personality and how she fits with Yami. I think they're one of the actual couples I actually hardship. I rarely am a shipper in anime, but I could see them together so easily and so well and I love them. And who would my fifth top girl be? Fifth top girl in this show. See, if, that's what I'm saying, Bri. It's hard because Fuego definitely should have made top boys, but that's what I'm saying. There's so many great characters in this, you know? I already said Charlotte, so we got Charlotte. Mary Leona, Mimosa, Noel, Vanessa. It has to be Vanessa, not even for her power or her attractiveness, because both of them are S tier, but with how much she's been inspired by Asta and to have her, oh, the whole witch's arc the, with the queen witch and everything, that was so, I, with how much she's grown, Vanessa has to be up there. Like, Vanessa is fantastic. Come on. Come on. It's just, it's, it's, it's super hard to decide. Thank you for your question, Mary Leona 27. Uh, like I'm going to try to get better at it, but if you guys ever want to ask me questions that I answer during the discussion of my reactions, hop in that discord, the dapper discord. There is a show Q and a section. Ask me a question there. I will try to get to it, but 
with that being said if you guys did enjoy this episode please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to check out that patreon for early access and full length for episodes and the twitch for a full length as well uncut watching live all the links for everything are in the description down below like always don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad i appreciate y'all immensely peace